name is Gabe Zalna. I, along with uh, millions of Americans, are looking forward to uh, the uh, presidential debate, which is going to take place on the 22nd of this month. And most Americans, I believe, are eagerly looking forward to it, but however, I'm also certain that there are a number that aren't. Uh, the propaganda minister, uh, David Axelrod, I'm certain he isn't, uh, nor would Nancy Pelosi, and nor would Harry Reid, and absolutely nor would Obama. And the reason that is, is he had nothing to stand on. Nothing that he's done has worked. Uh, you take a look at Libya, for example. This Benghazi probably would never have occurred if Obama wouldn't have done what he did, which is launch a military action without congressional approval to oust uh, the uh, Colonel McGaffey. Now, uh, he, he was a tyrant, but he kept a lid on it. He absolutely kept a lid on it. Before uh, Obama did what he did, uh, th there was no Al-Qaeda in Libya. Now, they're like everywhere. And if the um, forensic examination were done on some of those RPGs that were used to kill our ambassador, we'd probably find that uh, they were supplied by our government. How insane is that? Now, Obama can't point his finger at the success that he's had in Egypt because he's destroyed that country as well. What he's really done is he's created uh, the absolute worst enemy that he possibly could for Israel. And uh, uh, Egypt used to be a friend of Israel. Uh, now that he's ousted uh, their president, and we have this new president who has sworn to take, uh, make Jerusalem the capital of Egypt. So Egypt's not going to work. Uh, Libya is not going to work. Uh, Syria is not going to work. That's probably going to go the same way to the Muslim Brotherhood. Uh, now he's touting his horn because he's going to be able to have talks with Iran. Now, he's not discussed this with Israel. Israel is not aware of it or, or wasn't aware of it until it was announced. How insane is it to give credibility to such an insane regime? You don't sit there and have discussions with people that are bent on killing other people. And that's unfortunately what a lot of people in that part of the world are interested in doing. So I don't see this being of any real success for Obama in regards to this presidential debate. Like everything else, he has nothing to run on. Uh, he also hasn't uh, given us his vision other than the same old. And the same old, we all know, does not work. So when uh, the uh, debate is over and the Americans that tune in, they'll have a better understanding as to who they really need to vote for. The concern that I have is that uh, on the last two presidential debates, around 62 million people tuned in. That leaves around 300 million people that are clueless. And that's really scary. That is really scary. But you know what? It is what it is. It's a system that we have, and we have to do the best that we can with it. Uh, once again, I think Congress needs to act, and Congress needs to freeze uh, Obama's ability to do anything, whether he wins or he doesn't win. He should not be allowed to enact any laws, have any impact on anything, until he proves his eligibility. And the way he proves his eligibility is by producing uh, the birth certificate and have that analyzed forensically. And also, uh, I'd like to see his passport. And a most revealing series of documents would be his application for Occidental and for Harvard. And I'll bet you a quarter that we'll find he applied as a foreign exchange student, and he did that under affirmative action, and he did that by presenting his uh, passport from Indonesia. Change has to be made. In Congress, you don't have a whole lot of time. We already know how he treats Congress. We saw what he did when he decided to go into Libya. And if you think he's going to have a need for Congress, if he does get another shot at the cat, you're wrong.